NTR, or Neto Vare, is a Japanese term for a genre of pornography focused on adultery. Ever since it started picking up attention in Western circles that follow hentai publications, the genre has been extremely controversial, especially for its use as a form of narrative trap. Like in the infamous case of Cathead Imoko, sometimes the first chapter of a Netarari manga will introduce a cute romantic couple that seems like they'd live happily ever after once the story is done. But as the manga continues, they start fucking dealers and becoming drug addicted sluts. It's easy to see why this would divide the audience. Anyone who'd projected onto this relationship or found hope in it as a fantastical possibility for a love and trust that they may be able to know one day, or even just feel solidarity with through the story, will have their emotions betrayed when it changes gears on them. The question is what do you do with those feelings in the wake of the infidelity? For many, it seems obvious. You dump that bitch, fuck her. But for others, the fate of destruction is the joy of rebirth. Goki Genyo Geeks, it's your cat dad Digibro here, unzipping three reasons I can think of for why people might be into Netorare. Number one, you can just project onto the other guy. Cathead Imako was my first exposure to Netorare, but I hadn't felt nearly as betrayed as many other readers seem to, since I thought the story was retarded and wasn't that into the sex positions it used. But I still felt a lot of trepidation about continuing to read the manga, because its warm atmosphere had been a part of what attracted me to it, and I certainly didn't want to feel cheated on myself. But to tell you the truth, I didn't feel betrayed at all, especially because I thought the scenes where Imako fucks the drug dealer were way hotter anyways. Now personally, I have just as easy a time projecting onto both the guy and the girl in this situation. I like being confined in tight spaces and I love secretly pleasuring someone in a location where people could be literally having a conversation with them without noticing. It's both really hot to watch someone try not to get caught, and to have to try not to make too much noise yourself, for someone who's extremely sensitive to managing the way their scenario is perceived by those involved. When it comes to Imako though, the guy is honestly such a fucking badass Chad that it's hard to not want to be him. He holds his shit together no problem while the girl is going absolutely ape shit with pleasure, signaling that he's probably had more than one girl just as hot as this doing just as much crazy shit, and leaving us to wonder how far he'll push her to have fun. Number 2. You can project onto the girl. Masochism is all about the metering of trust and loss of control. Pain and pleasure can be nothing but a matter of perception if you're good at putting yourself in a mind game. And the best way to be brought into one is with a strong dungeon master. Sure, your guy's dick was good, but this guy's dick is just better. He makes you feel ways that you didn't know you could feel, because he's constantly pushing your trust to the limit, forcing you into situations outside your comfort zone, but then making you feel so good that it shifts your Overton window into deciding that this should be the new normal. The drugs are just a way to facilitate the metaphor. You're losing yourself in the dopamine rush of having your senses constantly taxed. Of course, with any drug, if you get addicted, it's going to take more and more of it to get you to the same high you had before, and the sky's the limit on how much you can trick yourself into trusting someone. When it feels good enough, you won't care about coming back to Earth anymore. What's hotter than being a kamikaze pilot for the god of sex? Number 3. You can be the cock. Honestly, I have to imagine that this is the most common perspective for male viewers of NTR, and it's the hate fuck. That bitch betrayed you and made you feel the worst you've ever felt, so now you get to watch her be destroyed. It constantly mocks you that you couldn't do it yourself, but when the woman is dead or disposed of in the end, at least you don't have to feel bad about what she did to you. She was never worth anything anyways. Or maybe you just like getting to see her reach those exalted highs. Maybe you put her so far above yourself that you're satisfied just to see her get off. It doesn't have to be you who does it. You might even help to facilitate the adultery, knowing that you're not good enough. If you're one of those guys, why aren't you paying me more? Don't you love me? Those are the three best reasons I can think of for being into NTR. But what do you think? Is there more to it, or did I go too far? What do you want to hear me talk about on this platform next? 
let me know in the comments. But after you've zipped up.